Oh, it goes. It lives. It, li it lives. Well, kind of, sort of. Well, hey, we're late, but we don't care. <laughs> we're late, but we don't care at all. I'm on vacation. She's on vacation. So, uh, I'm on vacation. This is my day. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, and, uh, yes, we forgot. I forgot the selfie stick, so we're just dealing with my arm. My arm works. Uh, we are here this morning. Uh, as you can see, this is not the addition to our, 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 our kitchen. This is a place in Tampa called Armature Works, uh, which is down in a, in a part of Tampa called Tampa Heights, that they have redone. This, used, this, this place used to be um, where they repaired the, um, the streetcars. Uh, but they've turned it into this, this sort of hipster place with a bunch of restaurants, and there's some bars in there, and, uh, and a nice hangout space here that we'll show you a little bit more later. Uh, we were here, when were we here, Friday? Saturday. Saturday? See, I don't know what date it is. Uh, we were here on Saturday um, for a, a sort of a fun work function for my wife's job, so we had a good time uh, with, some, uh, with some of her workmates. And, uh, we met here for dinner before we went down to um, Pirate, uh, what do they call it, Pirate? I don't know the name of that the company. Taxi. A pirate Taxi. Um, that uh, we went on a little tour, so it was it was it was cool. Yeah, we're we're outside, so we're dealing with a lot of a lot of things. We're dealing with um, the noise of the street. We're dealing with uh, the noise of the place, and um, the river, Hillsborough River, is right. Hang on a second. Right over there. So there'll be boat. So there may be boat traffic as well. Hang on a second. I'm going to show you the place a little bit. They're decorated for Christmas. There you go. Gives you an idea of, of the space. So we thought we'd come out and do something different on our um, our anniversary week. Uh, Wednesday will be our 31st wedding anniversary, and um, so we are. Um, we, we thought we'd do something different this week. Deb's taking some time off, and now so we have time in the morning. So we're going to do that. Uh, I hope that you had a great weekend. Uh, I hope that we are, you, that that this Christmas season is is building up to be everything that you wanted to be, everything that you needed to be. Oh. Shopping done. Shopping, yay. <laughs> yeah, go to the mall. Spend money. Yeah, Amazon. Go online. <laughs> Amazon. Yeah, uh, yeah, Amazon. Uh, your one-stop shop for pretty much, I don't know, everything. You can get like a, I don't know, bowl. Uh, you can get like a refrigerator delivered to your house. Uh, but the but the bowl will come but the bowl will come in the same size box as the refrigerator is how they do it I think. Our mattress. Our mattress. Yes. Uh, our our, neighbor. our neighbors had a mattress delivered. Uh, I don't know if it, I don't know if it was that much. It was Walmart actually. So Walmart does that too. So uh, so if you so if you want Walmart prices but you don't want the Walmart experience you can actually order online at Walmart and they'll send they'll send it to your house. They're finally catching on. Yeah, well, something else we have, we have no control over, the sun. Uh, but it's a beautiful Florida winter. It's a nice day out. I mean, yes, I, I mean, I mean, we're in, I mean, we're in t-shirts, and we're out, and there's a breeze, and the breeze is kind of warm actually. So, uh, for all you people who are all bundled up and y'all love that, well, you can have it, pretty much. We had our winter last week. Yeah, it was in, it was in the 40s two days in a row. I don't like it. And I don't feel bad by saying I don't like it. I can tolerate it. I hate it. EJ, what's up, buddy? Uh, hope things are good for you. But um, no, I, I, I don't. I don't want to be cold. I don't like to be cold. I don't, I don't like for it to be 70 in the house. I know. I know. It was 70 in the house, and I was uncomfortable. Yeah, don't judge. Don't judge. <laughs> but I don't like it. So it's you know what. I, ever since we moved here, I moved here in 1968. Um, and we're not not had uh, traditional up north or northeast winters. It only took me a couple of years to get used to not not seeing snow at Christmas time. Only took me a couple of years um, to not being cold and not have to wear boots and all that stuff. Only took me a couple of years to get used to that. And um, now at I don't know, I've been here 50 years. I don't want it. I don't want to travel to it. Uh, I barely want to see it on TV. Hallmark. 
I get a little chilly when we go if you go to if you go to Disney World and they, and they put that snow on you. I mean, so <laughs> on, on here. Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I like that either, but uh, I, I, I we're enjoying this weather. It's beautiful out. It's a beautiful day. Um, Central Florida day. What I thought we would do for a topic today would be to just talk about um, what we have learned through 31 years of marriage. 31 years, a long time. 31 years, and it has gone by so fast. Like a class you never graduate from. Yes. <laughs> I guess you do graduate eventually, but we're a long ways from that. But um, 31 years, what I have learned is that it's easier to change yourself than to try to change your partner. One of those things that they tell you, that they tell you, or uh, the old people tell you when you when you start dating or you get married, hey Janetta, um, is that you can't change anybody. And then you can't raise grown folk. My grandma used to say you can't raise grown folk. Uh, and, but you know what? But because you're but you're but you're you're in love and and you've got this mindset that your love is going to be transformative, um, that you're going to be able to change people. You're not listening to that. You got most and most people, unfortunately, end up learning that the hard way. Um, they learn. I mean, they learn learn through arguments and 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 divorce and the like. Um, but the idea is that it's very true. You're not going to be able to change anybody. Uh, you're going to have to adjust, or you're going to have to change yourself. Uh, and in some time, in changing yourself and your attitude and the way you, that you deal with things, um, people come around. Uh, and I'm going to move this so so I don't seem like I'm. Hey, hey. <laughs> I think the light may be better. Yeah, that's how we say. I forgot. Might be nice. Uh, but it's my arm. And we'll see how long it lasts, and then we'll stop. But um, that's really the, that, that's really the deal. The deal is that um, you're not going. That Debbie's right. You're not going to be able to change anybody. And, and maybe in the changing of yourself is that you open the other person up to seeing things differently, or, or um, and maybe that's maybe that's the way. But imposing yourself, imposing your will on them, is not going to be the way that you're going to do anything that's going to last. In a, in, a, in a married relationship for very long. People may change for a little bit just to keep you off their ass. <laughs> but that's all but that's, that's all, about all but that's is. all it is. <laughs> but that's all it is. And they go back to the same old thing. Because people will go back to the same old And that's when most people well, I want a divorce. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Could you hold this because I because the wind, this beautiful breeze, knocked down my coffee. And that's a oh. sad thing. Yeah, we brought coffee. Yes, we brought coffee. There you go. That's good. Thank you. So you know, be very, very conscious about. But most of the time, hey Nick, uh, most of the time you knew that. But, well, I gotta tell you that that's really that's really a girl thing because I don't think men see. Don't think about well, that. no, men get into relationships thinking that things aren't things aren't ever going to change. Now, this is going to be great, just like it is now. So you can see that immediately you have a problem, right? You have someone, you have half of the relationship getting into relationships and thinking that things are never going to change and the other half getting into relationship thinking that I can change this them. this is this has got to change or well, her the, the, they're on on opposite ends of the of the platform at this point um, and what we try to tell what we're trying to tell people is that um, things are going things are going to change but but they've got to change sort of organically as you grow as, and as um, as relationship um, grows and children and finances and career 
and then there'll be changes and we have to be ready for those changes but the idea of getting into a relationship thinking that it's never going to change is silly and it's equally silly to think that you're going to get into a relationship and um, you're going to be able to change it or change that person that's silly too that's silly too so the idea is one of the things we've learned and we're, we're hoping to do this to help people like you know what if you're in a relationship um, no guys it's going to change things are going to change a lot of people walking down here well yeah a lot of white folks walking to be healthy look all these white people <laughs> awful, awful lot of honkies in here <laughs> and everybody knows that's a quote from uh, from from um, the Jefferson. No, no, it's actually a quote from um, The Simpsons. <laughs> Awful lot of honkies in here. I don't, I don't watch The Simpsons. Love The so. Simpsons. Watched it last night. It was great. So and Family Guy. And there's great. Rudolph. Where? Oh, <laughs> are you someone who puts horns on your? Oh, who put antlers and a, and a red nose on your car? Are you? <laughs> At Christmas time, cute. don't stop it. Do not put antlers. Put it on my car. No, well, do, 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 do not put antlers and a, and a red nose in your car, especially if it's like a '99 Lincoln Town car that's 15, that's 15 years old. It's, just don't don't do it. It's okay. not cute. Back to subject. Not cute. No. What have you not learned? Not cute. What I've learned is that patience is a virtue, and not just a virtue. That patience is incredibly necessary um, so if you've not practiced patience practice it understand that it's, it's it's something that's vital to any relationship especially in a marriage relationship that patience is incredibly important um, because patience is this patience tell moves you out of yourself and patience moves you in back into thinking about the relationship and your partner because sometimes you just have to wait that's all there is, that's all there is to it you just have to wait hey Mel um, there is no there's that's no right. choice you have to you have to be patient um, as because certain things you know what I teach saxophone food and clarinet for a living y'all know that um, and people say you must be so patient well, I'm not any more patient than I used to be. I just understand that certain things take time. They just take time. And you have to decide that you're going to invest that time into the relationship. It goes back to what we said when we started this, golly, almost a year ago. We started doing this almost a year ago. Is that whatever it is, is it worth the relationship? Is it worth waiting? Is the relationship good enough to worth I mean, worth waiting to to know that certain things take a certain amount of time. Well, for the most part, yes. So I will. So I will if you wait. Truly love the person. It's worth the wait. It's worth the wait. Um, I have to say, after 31 years, I wouldn't change anything about what we have gone through because we've learned a lot through the process. Would it have been easier with more cash? Yes, that's one thing, you know, but the things that we've learned in the process of 31 years, I wouldn't want to change it at all. No, no, and, and, and that's right. We've learned, you know what, the part where we struggled or the, is, is the part that we've learned the most. And it's like, it's like anything else. Those times where you struggle the most is where the most education can happen. Um, if you sort of get out of yourself and try to learn the lesson um, that's being taught. And a lot of times we get so caught up in the struggle and we get so, I mean, we're so frustrated and we're not patient that we miss the lesson. And if you can get the lesson out of every struggle, what you'll find out is that the next time there's a struggle, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. You see it coming, you know what to do, you know how to probably got some wind in the, um, in the recording but you can't control the wind you can't control the wind you can't control your hell either no way. so that's you know what that's really really important that um, in, if you're 
interested, yeah, my hair's everywhere too. Um, if you're interested, it is, it's everywhere. Look at that, <laughs> everywhere. Um, so if you're interested in a long relationship, patience is key. You have got to learn patience. And it's one of those things that sometimes going into relationships, you don't have to be all that patient. Because everybody, most people that are in a, in a relationship are falling over themselves trying to please the other and in the, in the whole dating thing. They don't have to please people. But when that happens, once you tie the knot, so to speak, or do the proof, I don't know what I'm doing now. But people think and people get involved in, you know what, in the everyday monotony of life. Stagnant, as Nikki said, make uh, make exciting things to do. Find something that you both li like to do, or maybe that you, just one of you like to do, and you share it with that person. You know, we do a lot of things like Hallmark movies that I'm sure my husband doesn't care about that much, but he watches them with me, and he learned and he's learned to like it. Football, as I said. Football. I, I have learned to love football. football. So uh, the last time South. I'm sitting watching it, and he's not. But it, it's one of his love, his, his things that he loves to do. We like football in my house. We like football. <laughs> it's the South, damn it. Football. <laughs> College football more than anything else. Uh, yeah, you know, but again, those things didn't happen like week one. No. That's. They didn't happen week one. And the first few years of our marriage, don't you know? You think those were supposed to be the honeymoon honeymoon years, but those were the toughest. Um, that's when you're establishing a, a, a family, a step, learning about you know their spending habits, yours, you know, and uh, against your spending habits. Um, where you know the laundry, who's going to do that, and who's going to do this, and what you you know you have. The first few years, people say that it's it's the honeymoon years, but those are the toughest because you're learning the person that you're living with. And, you know, I, people say, well, you should live together first. Well, we tried that, but still... It was you, different. <laughs> it, it's different well, when different. you get married. It's, it's totally different. So don't think just because you live together and then all you get married that it's going to be the same. No, it changes. There's marriage is a spiritual bond, and and something about those vows, and that's why people, so many other people, are fighting to have that because it's a spiritual thing. It's a bond built when you when you say those commitment vows or commitment or the, the wedding vows or whatever. That chain it's spiritual. I mean, say what you want, it does change things. Well, yeah, you know, and, and, and what like Debbie was saying, you know, when in, the, in, the, in, the, in the first few years, especially if you're younger, um, it, it, it's a massive, it's a massive adjustment. Um, for, for some people, who maybe who were living on their own before, or, or for a lot of people who weren't living on their own before, um, it's a, you know, it, it, it's a massive adjustment, uh, and it takes and it takes a while. To, it just takes a while to do that, and it takes a while to do that if you want to be good at it. Hardly ever does it I mean those first four, five, six, seven years go go smoothly like they do on Hallmark movies. I mean they just they just don't. It's because it, it, it just takes a while to get, and that's why patience is so uh, so important. Um, if you can find somebody to mentor you, that 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 will be a fabulous idea. Yeah. Um, but, um, but but the idea is that it's going to take a while. It's going to take a while for things to settle down. On top of everything else, your career is starting. Is your is starting? You're moving your family all over the damn state. I did that, um, and then back <laughs> in six months. Um, so there's there's lots and lots to get used to. So you have you have to you have to be patient. You have to practice patience um, with yourself and with your spouse and with your situation. Because because you want everything to be awesome, but you know what? Things may not be awesome right away. So you have to be patient with yourself, your spouse, 
your situation, your children. You have to be patient. You have to practice patience. Um, if you don't, then you're going to find that you struggle a lot. You're going to find that you struggle an awful lot. What are you doing? No, I'm just checking. Oh. Okay. All right. So, what? Nothing. I'm just trying to find a way to keep my arm from falling off. Okay. Wait. I'm going to move back here if that's okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> earthquake! Earthquake! <laughs> uh, it's a big known joke in the house, and I'm not a photographer. Earthquake! <laughs> I cannot take good pictures, even with my cell phone. I'm sorry. I can't do it. And my son is a photographer. Yeah, he is. He and is. and I hold things, I shake, I do this and all. That's why I only film things when I'm uh, on my walks because then people understand that, that, that you're walking so it's <laughs> although one of those one of those the, the, those things I think that smooth thing that, that that no matter what you do it keeps it, the, keeps the, it level yeah I want one of them for Christmas yes. <laughs> I want one of them for Christmas smooth s-m-o-o-b-e we got that that green Hello, Yvette. Good morning. Welcome to the broadcast. Uh, we're out again. We're out here at Armature Works in Tampa. Um, this is not our living room. We didn't we didn't knock down a wall. And we're outside. And we're outside. <laughs> this is my house. No, this One is not. Day. This is. This, I don't even know if I want this to be my house. But um, we we're, we're outside. We're outside here at a place called Armature Works, uh, right off downtown Tampa, in a place called Tampa Heights. And uh, we thought we'd come out on our anniversary week and do something different and uh, come out and, 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 and talk to the folks about what we've learned over the past 31 years. Oh, December 5th. December 5th. 5th will be 31 will years. Be 31 years. And we renewed our vows last year this time. It actually was Saturday. It, 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 it would have been Saturday, yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Isn't it interesting that when you, when people, when, when you say, so you've been married 31 years. The reaction you get from people? Yes. They think you've cured you've cured cancer. <laughs> <laughs> they act like you've they act like you've cured cancer. You're like, oh my god, that's so wonderful. So many people are going to live now. <laughs> <laughs> it's very rare that people are married that long and last. And then the sad thing is that, is that some people, after those many years of together, they still get divorced. So it's a blessing which, from which God. Which I don't, I don't really understand at all. I don't, I don't understand how you do something for 31 years, and then you, and then, and then you decide, I can't live with you no more. <laughs> well, build on the, build a room under the house. <laughs> Build a room people, under the back. Some people do still live together and they're divorced, so it's a weird, it's a unique thing. But weird. No, you have to right word. <laughs> unique. Weird. Weird. <laughs> Bizarre. Um, but no, it's so. so it, it, it's, it's funny. Hot out but when because the sun is right here, about 15 feet from my face. Um, but we live in a sunshine state. This is my winter. Oh, the weather outside is lovely. Uh, so you see if y'all put the orange side? Yeah. Yeah, I told you. Uh, I'll take it back. Hang on. Alright. So, but that's, a, you know, so, but I think a lot of times where I work, I end up, and I think you too, I know how many people are married in 31 years or 30 years who aren't that old, who aren't even 30 years old. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you got married before I was born? Yes. <laughs> yes. I've been married, I've been married your whole life. Um, and with their friends and their and, and sometimes their own family, when they when they see a lot of divorce, uh, they're just amazed how people do it because the the culture is that now that you're not even supposed to. Like maybe your grandparent, you know, maybe their grandparents have been married that long. Uh, although I'm probably old enough to be some of their grandparents, but. So they're always amazed that you got 30 years. Wow. They think of us as the, the Bush family, like President Bush that just passed away, was married to his wife for 73 years, I think it was. 
and she passed away earlier this year and he just passed away Friday. So they and they imagine that 73 years. I think that's impressive. That is very impressive. Yeah, but you know what? My guess is, and it's only my guess, that I don't know. They both said, I guess we're in this for long haul. I'm saying it now. Well, I guess at 31 years, hang on a second, we got a little, uh, I told you we have a little noise. Okay. Um, there's still construction going on down here. Oh, great, right, he's going to go there. He's going to be closed. Awesome. Fantastic. We're probably going to have to close out. Yeah. Um, so, you know what, at 30 years, at 30 years, I guess we're in, I'm in, but we're in for a long haul. Hey, Maurice, thanks. Thanks for dropping by. But, um, we are here. Um, Carlton, thanks for dropping by. I appreciate that. And, 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 and I think that we've, something you ought to do. Something else I've learned. Surround yourself with married couples that have the sort of relationship that you want to have. Yeah. Yeah. Surround yourself with those kind of people. People who want to make money um, will surround themselves with people who've made money. You know what? You want to meet, be a millionaire? Try to surround yourself around people who've made a million dollars. Um, That's what we're working on right now. Right now. Right now. <laughs> Try to put yourself around people yeah. who've made a lot of money. Uh, who know how to make money. Uh, put put yourself around people who have good relationships. Uh, which means you might have to cut off some of your friends who, who, who've been married six times in seven years. You might not want to hang out with them. Um, so I think that that's, you know, and I, that's sort of a hard thing to, to, to hear, I know, but I think that that's really important. Um, you want and to... that goes also with, in career-wise, you know, if you want to be successful, men, be mentored or stay around people who are successful in what you want to do. You don't want to be around people who, who are going to discourage what you're trying to succeed in or what, you know, anything that you say they're negative about it, they're not on your side. It's okay with the women. And it goes for that in your marriage. You know, if people, like he said, if they've been married four or five times and, you know, they're on their fifth wife and whatever, they don't have anything to tell you about. No, no. All they have to tell all they have to tell you is about failure. Um, and what you need or what you need more than anything is is how to be successful. Uh, so that's what we've hoped to do this past year. We've been doing this since January. Mm -hmm. um, it's been almost a year. February, actually. That's a lot. MLK Day. Yeah, that's a lot. MLK Day in February? Mm -hmm. I, thought MLK, I thought MLK Day was in January. Did we? I don't. I, that, yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anyway, it's been it's been, it's been day near year, so uh, but 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 that but, but that's really the deal. Surround yourself with people who have successful relationships, relationships that you can learn from, that you can learn positive things from, that you can emulate. And if you need mentoring and you want some help, Ask, email us. Yeah, we're here to help. We want to have your questions. We want to know how we can help people in their marriage. Are we perfect at it? We're still working on it ourselves, but we're pretty darn good at we it. We got 30 years in. We're in for the long haul. And if you're in for the long haul, too, um, those of you on Facebook, you can reach each, 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 each of us on Facebook. Um, in our personal accounts, you know how to do that already. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, just send me an, e send me an email at wls860 at gmail.com or comment in the comment section below. Uh, we'll be happy to get to you. We'll get to you as soon as we can. Promise, promise, promise. We'll have you hanging out there forever. Um, and if, frankly, if there's some things that that, that we can help you with, we'll help you with. Uh, if there are things that we that we shouldn't help you with, that we should direct you towards a professional or a clergy, we'll do that too. Uh, all right. Well, I think it's time to get out of here and make room for somebody else. Yes. Because I may have to go to the hospital. No. For shoulder surgery. We have to. We get, have to enjoy this beautiful get, day. Get one install. All right, you know, we got here. Maybe we'll for somebody else. All Please right. Like, comment, and subscribe on YouTube, Facebook. Share this video. 
we're, we're, we're going to see you on this. We're going to see some of y'all on, on our Instagram a little later today and the rest of the week. So stay tuned. We see you again. Go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We will see y'all you. when we see you. Peace. Get to the peace sign.